B-52s. Hi. Two big movies. Two. Too many laughs. Ha, ha, ha. Don't miss State Park and Invasion of the B-Girls. Stay up all night with guest host Fred Schneider and Kate Pearson of the B-52s. Coming up next. Kate. Okay, pick the phone. Oh, hi. I'm Fred Schneider of the B-52s. And tonight, while Gilbert's away, we're hosting USA Up All Night. Hello? Kate, it's Fred. I got him. Oh, really? Oh, I've been just dying to see Chariots of Fire for years. Uh, well, there's one thing. The store didn't have Chariots, but I got something almost as good. Oh, maybe a classic art movie like Bergman's Persona? Or maybe La Dolce Vita? Oh, I love Fellini's movies. Wait a minute. You didn't go back to rent at Haji's Video Hut, did you? After Kurt Gowdy's version of Streetcar Named Desire, you promised me you'd never rent there again. I know, I know, but well, you're going to like these. He says they won a lot of awards, and the first one's on his hit list. It's, you ready for this? State Park with Jennifer Inch, a guy who'll never act again, and your favorite, Ted Nugent. Then, we'll watch some babes who really bug out with a best of them. Not Invasion of the B-Girls! Well, while Kate's on her way, let's watch the start of State Park on USA Up All Night. Come on, Kate, don't give up on State Park yet. Besides, Haji at the video store says that Steven Seagal steals the movie. And besides, if you don't know the combination to the bottom lock, you're not getting out. Oh, hi, I'm Fred Schneider. And I'm Kate Pearson, and we're the B-52s. And we're stuck here at Fred's place, filling in for Gilbert Gottfried on USA Up All Night. And tonight's movie is State Park. And coming up, a note to the director of the movie. Next time your brother-in-law tells you he's not an actor... You ought to check this out! Believe him. USA, up all night. State Park. <laughs> what? <laughs> Boy, this is just like being at the movie theater. We're back. Hi, I'm Fred Schneider, and this is Kate Pearson from the B-52s. And you've got to love stereo surround on your TV, because it makes you feel like you're right there at the movie theater. Anyway, we're watching State Park, where Jennifer Inch proves that the gentle art of conversation is not dead. It turns me on. Can't help it. Happens every time I give you a haircut. And neither is the deep shag hairdo. As we continue with State Park on USA, up all night. You know, I think I'm going to just do a little bit of adjusting on this. It's going to sound really great now. You know, Fred, you're right. That Eve does sort of have a Meryl Streep-like quality. Of, of course, a Meryl Streep with her personality removed, and, and if she was raised by dingoes. Well, how about that blonde, you know? I'd say Ellen Barkin with a concrete hairdo. Well, she does sort of symbolize the good and evil and embodied in woman. Yeah, really. Good call. Anyway, we'll return to the movie that proves that just because it's in the great outdoors... It doesn't necessarily mean it's great at all. <laughs> State Park on USA Up All Night. Now, if I close my eyes and... And shake a little, maybe I can see Rob Lowe in that trucky character. Fred Schneider, East Rock Lobster, Private Eye. Drop the gun, Victor. Today on Love Shack, join host Kate Pearson for today on Roaming the Wild Planet. Join Julio Iglesias as he scuba the... All right, Victor, now I really mean it. Drop the gun. He's not dropping the gun, Ron! That's 
bachelors try to win a date. Love chat. Okay, bachelor. Fred, Fred, you can wake stop up. Begging now. Oh. I brought some more popcorn. Oh, great. Uh, who says TV is a wasteland? Oh, hello. I'm Kate Pearson. And I'm Fred Schneider from the B-52s. And we're luckily filling in for Gilbert Gottfried on this edition of USA Up All Night. And we're taking a walk on the wild side with State Park. Coming up, Martha finds out that when it comes to instant sexual chemistry... You're a good swimmer. Thanks. Nice bathing suit. Sometimes you just have to settle for a good conversation and a tofu pup instead. State Park on USA Up All Night. Fred Schneider, a Kate Pearson. Per café. Bem, como é que vai a família? Mm -hmm. Ah, estou. Ah, bueno, todo el mundo. Coge en cinco minutos. Hola, yo soy Fred Schneider. Yo soy Kate Pearson, de B-52s. Con los trabajos de nosotros, no podemos comer como siempre debimos. Por eso que bebemos una porción de café. Lo bebo con el olor de mi boca. Yo bebo para ficar louquinha. Por mayoría lo bebo para descansar. A cien millas a la hora. Mmm, requentado, que delícia. Y mejor de todo, café legal. You ready on set in five minutes, Mr. Schneider, Miss Pearson? Ya vuelvo. So, la próxima vez, al como los B-52. Beba café, beba una porción. Y después aprende de plomería, como nosotros. ¡Ahí! Beba café, beba tanto. Sapia un piatto idraulico. Dumb, yuppie who's got everything she's ever wanted, right? Sometimes yeah, I, I'm gonna do my hair like Chucky, you know, sort of like a skunk with a blonde. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh hi. Fred Schneider here. Welcome back to my pad. And I'm Kate Pearson, here for the B-52s and here for Gilbert Gottfried. Hello? Hey, is this Fred, Mr. B-52? It's Dewey, directly upstairs. Hear anything strange? No. You do now. It's my annual party out of bounds, and you're not invited. Why? Because I'm a jerk. Enjoy the movie. <laughs> uh, he does this every year, and yes, he is a jerk. Anyway, coming up in State Park, he learns the true meaning of orienteering. She also learns the true meaning of a bad agent. A coincidence? You decide. As we return to State Park on USA Up All Night. Well, at least he's playing good music this year. Mm -hmm. Gotta give him that. Oh, Fred. Do you mean to tell me that all that noise coming from upstairs doesn't just drive you crazy? What noise? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we'll get back to the movie. Where people wear leather skirts while they're camping. Because, Franco, you want to look your sexiest when you get eaten alive by God's creatures. I know, I do. State Park, after this. It's kind of strange not being invited to a party, Fred. This is all your fault. Hi, Fred Schneider and Kate Pearson from the B-52s here. Filling in for Gilbert Gottfried and living beneath the planet of the ace. The guy upstairs is a real jerk. The guy upstairs is a jerk. He's also playing our record, so we can't complain too much. Anyway, coming up in State Park, Martha finds out that her rock star boyfriend is not only ill-tempered and self-centered, but he has better hair than she does. And there are some character flaws a girl just can't forgive. State Park on USA up all night. You know, if I wasn't hosting this show, I would go upstairs and... Well, I've got to look to maintain that. You know, it's kind of like a movie within a movie. It wasn't. Uh, oh, hi, I'm Kate Pearson. Hi, I'm Fred Schneider from the B-52. We're spending a quiet evening of pleasant movie watching and wondering how to stop the madness upstairs. It's a Christmas party and we're not invited. I wouldn't mind, but he's using my Tupperware. Anyway, we're still watching State Park. 
And coming up, the awful feeling that this might be the only camping movie ever made that doesn't have a psycho running around in a hockey mask. And you know, Fred, that's a real shame, because we could have sent him upstairs after he was done. On USA State Park, up all night. What do you want, Dewey? <laughs> Request? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why don't you play more of the B-52's records? We could use the royalty to build a pool. Hi, I'm Kate Pearson from the B-52's, and that's Fred Schneider. And up there, they're having a fabulous party. Fred's not invited. I think that says it all. And now back to the movie that shows just what can happen when the school camera is signed out to the wrong people. State Park, on USA, up all night. Hey, I'm the one that should be mad at you. I was having a great time till you dragged me out. Well, I think this is a really good role for Ted Nugent because he gets to play opposite some really intriguing actors and actresses. And uh, they probably paid him half the budget of the movie. Yeah, you know, you know, on one level, Fred, this is a really bad movie. But in another way, it's like an onion. The more you peel away the layers, the stronger the fumes get. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's true. We'll be back to this stinker after this commercial message on USA Up All Night. I still don't understand why such a good actor like Ted Nugent would appear in such a terrible movie as this. Oh, poor Ted. But anyway, let's return to the conclusion of State Park. And keep it down up there! And that was the tail end of State Park. Coming up, a small town finds out that when you fool around with Mother Nature, sometimes she returns the favor. It's Anitra Ford, Victoria Vetri, some contacts that were ready in about an hour, and Cliff Osmond. You're uptight, I'm uptight, so we're all uptight. In Invasion of the Bee Girls, as we buzz into the wee hours on USA Up All Night, Fred Schneider's apartment is in Glamorama, New York City. This is terrible. Oh, oh, hi, I'm Kate Pearson. And I'm Fred Schneider of the B-52. And we're here filling in for Gilbert Gottfried and spending quality time with Invasion of the B-Girls. Now, coming up, Captain Peters discovers that death is not pretty. We found him with his pants around his ankles, dead of a massive you-know-what. And neither is that kind of jealousy. Oh, Captain Peters. Invasion of the B-Girls on USA, up all night. Hi, Fred Schneider of the B-52s here. USA, up all night. And believe it or not, still here with Kate Pearson. And we're watching some buzzing babes who pack a mean sting. Invasion of the B-Girls. And coming up, lava lamps, ceramic doodads, and the kind of haircuts that make you proud to say Bobby Sherman rules. In the film that asks, if you could decorate the 70s all over again, wouldn't you use people who had some taste? Invasion of the B-Girls on USA Up All Night. And now back to hell hath no fury like a woman with a lot of weird little eyes. Invasion of the B-Girls on USA, up all night. Hey, Kate, would you bring me some aspirin? I'm getting a headache. Hi, Kate Pearson, B-52, USA, up all night. And we're watching Invasion of the B-Girls, the story of insect women who try to find themselves killing men. And coming up, a new use for fluffer nutter. More of that very effective blue lighting. And a lot of very hot nudity you'll never see because after all, this is a family network and you might get hurt. Invasion of the Bee Girls on USA up all night. Well, let's get back to the kind of acting you'd only expect to find in a Angie Dickinson movie. 
as Invasion of the Bee Girls continues on USA Up All Night. And now, as unbelievable as it may seem, this is Fred Schneider. And Kate Pearson giving you the conclusion of Invasion of the Bee Girls on USA Up All Night. And that was the end of Invasion of the Bee Movies, I mean Bee Girls, which brings us to the end of this week's edition of USA Up All Night. And even though we won't be here, if you come back next week, USA Up All Night will be showing two more movies, Barbarian Queen and Linnea Quigley in Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolarama. So until then, this is Fred Schneider. And Kate Pearson filling in for... Gilbert Gottfried and saying... Those are the worst movies I ever saw in my life. Well, I thought The Bee Girls was sort of a, a precursor to Cronenberg, you know? It was about insect politics.